Hello everyone, welcome to Jehu Crochet and More. Today I want to talk to you about something very exciting. I want to talk to you about the future. And I am talking about 3D printed crochet accessories. Look at those beautiful balls of yarn. Look at these crochet hooks. I printed these in my home. Isn't that amazing? So let's talk a little bit about what you see here. I have two yarn balls. They are both exactly the same bowl, but in two different sizes. And I will talk about that in a little bit. And then I have two crochet hooks, two different sizes. And I also have some stitch markers. All of these were printed on my 3D printer at home. So how does that work? Well, if you're not familiar with 3D printing, I am not an expert. There are so many other places where you can find out exactly what it is, how it works, and where to get the printers and how much does it cost and there's just a lot of questions that I am not the perfect person to answer but I can tell you about 3d printed crochet accessories because that is what I did with my 3d printer a little bit of background so a while ago my husband had a birthday and my husband is a very very hard person to shop for he loves all those gadgets, but the problem is whenever he wants something, whenever there is something that he is excited about, he just buys it himself. And so whenever his birthday come or on Christmas, it is very, very hard to come up with an idea of what to get him. Now this year he did mention that he would really love to have a 3D printer. So for his birthday in March, I got him a 3D printer. And what you see here is what I got in return. So I bought my husband a gift, but it was sort of um, also a gift for me because now I get to do all these things in the comfort of my own house. Um, I want to first talk about the crochet hooks. Now, um, there is a website where you can get different designs for different things that you can uh, print with your 3D printer. And there are also softwares where you can design your own things and print them with your printer. And I will link everything that I can, everything that I am using in the description box below the video, as well as the patterns for these specific things that you see in front of you. But I just wanted to say when you print your first crochet hook. The way you print them is in two pieces. And if you've ever seen a 3D printer, then it prints in layers. The printer goes from the bottom up. So all the objects that you are printing have to be designed in a way that it can print it. If there's a hole somewhere like a crochet hook, that looks like that, then it cannot be printed standing up because there is nothing here to support the material that has to build up here. So when you print it, you have to print this part laying down. However, this part has to be printed standing up. Otherwise, there will be a flat part on the side of it and it won't be very um, comfortable to grab. So the crochet hook has to be printed in two separate parts. This part has to be printed standing up like this. And this part has to be printed laying down like this. And then when they come out of the printer, you just glue them together. So I have one that's already glued together. And this one is a five millimeter crochet hook. 
The other one is a 6mm crochet hook and I intentionally printed them in different colors so that when eventually I will print myself the whole set, each hook will have a different color and that way I will know to tell them apart. Now what's nice about this is that when you prepare your items to be printed in a 3D printer, you can design them to fit your own will. So if you want, you can also choose that it will be printed with some sort of markings that will say what the size of the hook is. And I like that a lot. You can pretty much personalize it to fit whatever you want. Now I like this handle of the hook because I hold my hooks like this and this is very very comfortable for me. However, maybe you like your handles to look differently. So you can use the program to change the handle to look whichever way you want and then print your own hooks that are custom made for you. You can make the top of the hook shorter you can make it longer. If you have larger hands, you can make the handle larger. You can make it thicker. You can make it thinner. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Now, isn't that amazing? I also made myself two yarn balls. One is small and one is big. This one will fit yarn balls up to 50 grams, maybe 75 grams. And I have quite a lot of these. I like the way it's shaped, but once again, you can shape the yarn ball to be whatever you want. You can personalize it in whichever way you find fit. And just a small example for that, look at this. It does say J hook crochet and more on the bottom of my yarn ball. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> The larger yarn ball I made in sort of an orange color and it's a little bit neon-like. I think it gives it an extra futuristic look. This one also says Jehu Crochet and more on the bottom. I actually have a few pictures of this one being printed so I will insert them here. Now you have to take into consideration that those prints took about 16 to 18 hours. So I started printing my yarn ball in the evening before we went to bed and about noon the next day I had my yarn ball finished. And once it's finished you don't have to do anything. It just comes out like that. Gorgeous. Look at that. I have a yarn ball here. This one is a 100 gram yarn ball and it sits perfectly in there. I also tested some of my yarn cakes in there and it fits perfectly. So I love it. I have two different sizes of yarn balls and I have two different sizes of hooks and I can get as many sizes as I want and they will all be personalized custom made for me because I designed them, I do them and I print them in my house. They don't even have to be shipped from anywhere. I don't have to wait for them. I don't have to have anyone custom make them for me. I don't have to talk to anyone in case they come out wrong. I just start the printing again. Isn't that amazing? Now I also got myself a few stitch markers. Once again, because those are custom made to your design, you can make the stitch markers in whatever shape you want. So what I like about these is that I can use them both for crochet and for knitting. The round part is good to put around my knitting needles and because they are open, they will also work perfect for my crochet items. And they even have a little loop on the top just in case I want to put a little charm on there. See? Now I did use this crochet hook to make a small batch so that I can show you how it works up. 
But then I thought it might be nicer if I just show you how I crochet with it so that you'll also get the feel of how the hook itself is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down to my table and show you how I work a few rows with this hook. So here is a small batch that I worked with the hook before. This is just one row of double crochet, but I wanted to actually show you how I work with the hook so that you can more or less get a feel of what it's like to work with one of those hooks. First of all, I must say, they are lighter than any other hook you will ever hold in your hand. And they are perfectly balanced. Look at that. Right now the hook is only standing on my middle finger and it's amazing. Now I want to work a few stitches together with you, but you have to take something into consideration. You will hear the noise of the plastic rubbing against the yarn. This hook is fresh out of the printer. I did not use it before. The first time I'm using it is to make this batch. So just like wooden hooks or bamboo hooks, this will have some places where it's not 100% smooth. So if you do end up printing your own crochet hooks at home, I do recommend that you either file them off first um, to make them smooth or just consider it with the first uh, yarn that you use. Try not to use wool or something that tends to split. So those tiny splitters of plastic won't ruin your yarn when you work with them. Now I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but it makes a different sound. You know, I'm used to working with metal hooks. Metal hooks don't often make sound when you work with them. But sound is, you know, something I can live with as long as the hook itself is nice to work with. And there you have it, my very first batch made with my homemade 3D printed crochet hook. And let me tell you, for the first time using this hook, I think my stitches came out quite okay. I think they are relatively even. I don't think that looks too bad. I actually think after I work with this for a while and get used to the fact that it's a lot lighter than any other hook I've used before, it uses a lot less strength in your hand to work with. So I find myself doing a different movement with my wrist and I also feel like it's really light. So at times I find that I hold it differently than I hold my normal metal hooks because it feels so different in your hands and it will take a while to get used to. However, because it is that much lighter and I can pretty much custom design it to fit the way I like to grab my hooks, I think that with time, it will become a lot easier and a lot nicer for me to work with these hooks than with the normal hooks that I worked with until now. I just think that in general the idea that you can personalize the accessories that you use for your craft in your own home by yourself to specifically fit you is the future. Don't you agree? I mean, this might put some people out of business, uh, but I think this opens a whole new world of possibilities for us crafters. Just think of how you can make all the accessories that you use for your craft fit specifically to you. If you have everything personalized to the way you want need it to be, then you will be able to maybe work on your project a lot 
quicker. Um, if you suffer from pain in your wrists, you might be able to decrease that and you might be able to solve a lot of problems that you have been facing just because the equipment that you're using is not fitting to you 100%. And this is not to say that 3D printing your accessories at home will make everything a lot better, but it will definitely reduce the amount of complaints that you might have um, regarding your equipment that you're using at home. Accessories for yarn craft are not just hooks and needles, they are also yarn balls, uh, stitch markers, uh, tape measurements. Um, you can 3D print a pom-pom maker, uh, you can 3D print a tassel maker, you can 3D print all of the accessories that you use to be in the sizes you want them to be, um, to be the right weight, to open a whole new possibility that you didn't have before because you used something that was developed by someone else and not by you to fit your means. So what do you think? Is 3D printing your own hooks and yarn balls, etc. at home is the future? Is it something that you would like to experience? Is it something that if you had the means, you would do? Let me know in the comment section below this video. I always love to hear what my viewers think. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it opened your mind a little bit to new possibilities. Thank you all very, very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!